Hello everyone and very very welcome back to my channel English Learning Academy Today we want to learn two of the most important tenses in English and find out the differences between them Simple present tense and present participle tense So let's get started Let me start this lesson with simple present tense We use it for facts For example whales live in the ocean Number 2 for repeated or regular actions For example I eat breakfast at the table For habits For example I brush my teeth three times a day for things that are generally true in the present time prayer. For example, he's my boyfriend or uh, we study English. So, as we got, we use simple present tense for these four situations. Now, let's learn something about present progressive tense or sometimes we call it present continuous tense. We use it for one, when somebody is doing something at this moment. For example, we are learning English right now, or they are playing soccer, or I am watching TV. When something is happening at this moment, or when the action has started but hasn't finished. The children are sleeping, please be quiet. Or it's snowing at the moment. Number three, to talk about something that is happening around the time of speaking. Jack is studying a lot for his exam. Or, um, we are planning a trip to Mexico. Now, it's time to learn the form or structure of these two tenses. At first, simple present tense. You should use subject and then verb. And you have to use the base form of your verb. For example, we study English. They play soccer. I play the piano. She speaks English. He eats dinner. Look at these examples. You should use base form of your verb for the subjects of I, you, we, and they. You should add S at the end of your verb when the subject is she, he, or it. Or a singular noun. Jack lives in New York. Let's learn the negative form. I don't play the piano. They don't play soccer. We don't go to school. She doesn't eat dinner. He doesn't speak English. As we got it for negative form, just put don't or doesn't before your main verb. When your subject is she, he, or it, you should omit s and put doesn't before your main verb. And for I, you, we, and they, you should put don't before your main verb. For the next step, we want to learn present progressive tense form. Please be careful about these examples. One, she is swimming in the pool. He is eating breakfast. I am playing soccer. They are visiting their grandma. And it is drinking water. So, look at these examples. We need subject, to be verb, main verb, and the ing after your main verb to make the present progressive tense. So this is the affirmative form. For changing to negative form, just put not after your to be verb. Let's review all the subjects and suitable to be verb for each one. I am. You are, we are, they are, she is, he is, it is.